welcome friends so in this video so we will uh, demonstrate different uh, problems uh, related to the projections of solids so you note that the first problem is when the axis is uh, inclined to one plane and uh, it is uh, parallel to another plane so in this situation so a hexagonal prism is given whose uh, axis is inclined to ground so the initial position is chosen so that we get the true shape of the base in, uh, first and uh, because it's a hexagonal prism so the axis is chosen to be perpendicular to the ground we should uh, choose the initial position so that wherever it is inclined for example here it the axis is finally inclined at 70 degree to the ground so it will be uh, perpendicular to the ground in the beginning so that is how we locate the initial position so that is this is the initial position so the axis is perpendicular to the ground so in the top view you get the true shape of the base and in the front view whatever projection you see so that you have a, for the hexagonal prism of the given dimensions now we carry out the next step that is give the inclination of the axis or reduce the inclination of the axis from 90 degree to 70 degree so next step we incline the axis like this so we can do this uh, inclination in either direction so here basically the inclination of the base is 20 degree and uh, that ensures that inclination of the axis is uh, 70 degree so, so you rotate the uh, front view of the solid like this now uh, in this orientation you have to obtain the top view so what will happen to the top view so the top base will be visible completely whereas the bottom base uh, some of some part of it will be hidden so that is to be shown by hidden lines so you can use uh, the cyan colored lines for hi showing hidden lines in this figure you will see we have uh, the dashed lines to show the hidden lines so ultimately you will see uh, verticals you will draw from uh, the inclined position and you will draw the lines horizontal lines so from the top view and wherever the corresponding points so, uh, corresponding lines uh, meet so so these uh, lines so they will give us the final view of the final top view of the solid like this let us see the another uh, question so we have in this case a square pyramid so it is also inclined to the ground so exact inclination is not given but it is given in a different way the slant edge associated with the corner in which it is resting is vertical so first of all note that finally it has to lie with the, the base corner on the ground one of the base corner will be on the ground so we should keep that on the extreme side so the initial position is again chosen with the, the axis perpendicular to the ground so this is the initial position then so you know that the slant edge associated with the, the base corner so either it may be OA o or OC so that we incline like this so this way the slant edge becomes vertical so so slant edge containing the corner in which it is resting is now in vertical position that was the inclination to be given and finally so we obtain the top view of the solid by drawing the horizontal and the horizontal from the previous uh, top view and the verticals from the new front view so this way we can complete the solid 
so we have uh, another example so axis of the uh, cylinder so here it is 50 degree to vp so here the inclination is not with ground inclination is with vp and the solid is resting solid is resting on the curved surface so uh, initial position should be a different one in this case so here the axis will be chosen to be perpendicular to vp because here the inclination is with vp and the true shape of the vase will be visible in the front view so front view in the third angle method is uh, below x y line so the front view as the, the base of the cylinder so as circular so that is shown here and the top view is the rectang rectangular shape so that including the points of tangency we have now uh, finally we have to in this position the axis of the solid is 90 degree to vp so we have to ultimately make it 50 degree so in the next step we make that so this is how we incline the so here uh, the axis actually was not uh, at 50 rather the base of the solid is 50 degree to vp axis is making 40 degree so it these are complementary angles so here axis is basically inclined so we can consider uh, that way so even if the base is inclined still it is the case of the inclination of the axis ultimately in our conceptual terms now this is the uh, position you know that now the nearest or, or the base which is towards the observer so uh, it is the base which is marked with the angle here so this is the base so this base is towards the observer so this base uh, is towards the observer so it will be visible whereas this base so part of it so will be visible part of it will be hidden so you can see so this is how it will appear so this portion is uh, hidden whereas uh, the this side the base is visible so that is how you will show the final orientation of the solid now let us take next example You note that in this case, the uh, problem is exactly similar to that in problem number 1 and 2. Only thing is here we have a cylinder. So this problem you can easily tackle. So this is how it is located in the initial position. So axis is perpendicular to VP. So finally axis has to be 45 degree to the ground. In the next position we make that uh, front view 45 degree and we get the top view. So it is uh, similar to question number one and two. He here in this problem, so we have a cone uh, with the base diameter 200 mm and height 200 mm. You note that uh, uh, the solid is lying on the circumferential point on the of, of the base on ground with the axis inclined 50 degree to VP. So it is uh, similar to problem number three. So in the in the in the other case we had uh, the cylinder here we have the cone. So and also in because it is a cone, so you note that uh, here some more information will be needed. So you are given in the last line of the question that the solid, it, the apex of the solid is towards the observer. So what does that mean? So here uh, one thing to note is the axis is inclined to VP so initially we will take that uh, perpendicular to VP so 
uh, the initial position will be chosen uh, with this point in mind that its axis should be perpendicular to VP and the apex should be towards the observer. So, in the front view you will see the base only, so true shape of the base, initial position so uh, when the perpendicular, when the axis is perpendicular then you will have uh, this way the initial position to be located. The apex is towards the observer. So this condition is met when we locate the top view in this in this way. If you are told apex is away from the observer, then the apex will be uh, the apex of the cone will not be towards its front view. It will be away from the front view. Now with the given question, so this is the initial position, and finally what we have to do, we have to incline the axis which currently is 90 degree to VP, we have to make it 50 degree to VP. So, we do that in the second step like this. So, when we do like this, after this we draw the verticals from all important points and uh, similar way we draw the horizontals from the previous front view and where the corresponding points meet you note you get the solid figure like this. Now here you note that uh, you are your, your direction of viewing here is your, your direction of viewing is this direction because it is a third angle method. So you are viewing from same direction and you are drawing in this direction. So you note that uh, this portion of the base so that will be visible whereas this portion of the base so is hidden so it will be decided by the tangency so please note that it is a solid line so it is a solid line up to this point so only something falling within the tangents so that you have to omit so this is exactly how you will draw the projections of the solid in different positions. Thank you.